Peace Code Keepers, Knowledge Knowledge. Hey, I'm going to do an interesting episode of Get On Code where we deal with uh, one of my new real estate mentors, good brother Chris Haskins. Um, good brother in Hampton, Virginia. He's actually worldwide because you can catch his stuff worldwide. <laughs> but one of the things that I talk about on the Get On Code show is how our focus, our code should be empowerment. And one of the ways that we can become more empowered is financial. And so Chris, one of my new mentors, is really great in that space. He's really great in that space of being empowered when it comes to financial, particularly through real estate. And so in this episode of Get On Code, you're going to get a good chance to learn about the good brother, Chris Haskins. So let's get on code. Yeah, Code Keepers. Yo, uh, good luck to the bros. <laughs> good love to the bros. Peace to the bros. Hey, I'm talking today about my good brother, my mentor, Chris Haskins. And so I got a chance to spend a weekend with him recently. And during this weekend, he and one of my other mentors in the real estate game, uh, Clarence Harris, we got a chance to go through about five or six Airbnbs that Clarence and his family own and that uh, Chris has a part of. And so we got a chance to really look at the strategies they use to obtain the Airbnbs, to maintain the Airbnbs, to make them as profitable as possible. As a matter of fact, this picture you see with Chris is from one of those Airbnbs that uh, Clarence and his family own. So um, we're going to take a deep dive and kind of look at some motivation from Chris Haskins. This one's just a little primer. This is just a little primer. If you listen to, I'm sorry, <laughs> if you read the uh, show notes, if you read the show notes, the show notes that I have will always, you know, direct you pretty much to a couple of things. Well, you know, it's going to show you here a link where you can get 20 to 90,000 in business funding in 30 to 60 days you know so my team and I are doing some really big things and if you're looking to get that level of business funding then uh, we have something for you but let's start off with my brother Chris my mentor Chris he has some really interesting commentary here and uh, I want everyone to check it out so the next voice you hear will be that of the good brother Chris Haskins person eight years ago repeating the same year over and over and over and over and over again doing the same shit you was doing thinking the same way so we get to change the way we think it is so remarkable to me when I think about it I don't have to be the same person I was yesterday I can go read a book take a training meet somebody new like a Clarence or a Bernard or a Lexi or anybody in here and you can change the perspective of where I'm going to be. We get to be humans and grow. We don't have to be the same person. You don't have to be the same, do the same things you were doing, like the dogs and the cats and the deer. It's truly amazing when I think about it from time to time. So when I'm looking at this thing, uh, the questions that I'm asking you are gonna help us to just elevate and become not only better investors, but I want us all to just be better human beings, serve our communities, pour back into the people around us, right? I found the more I pour into people, it's truly amazing. The more I give, Smitty taught me this, he answers his phone, how may I serve you? How may I serve you? I'm like, holy shit. Well, let me think about it. Shit, now that you asked, let me, I need this, this, this. But look, he's here now, and look what he gets to do. It's an amazing life just by being a servant and a good steward of what he has. All right, write down everything you can think of you need to do. I'll start first, is that okay? All right. I have, I was doing this earlier, but I stopped because I felt like I was running my body down. I need to get up earlier. I was the five o'clock guy. Anybody in here five o'clock? Five, five. 5 a.m. Four, five. Okay. Eight. Six. You're quiet over there. Six. Okay. Six. Six is cool. Se seven. Oh, you're in trouble. 
Do you record seven? All right. Get up, I need to get up, get up earlier. What I've noticed, I'm telling y'all, man. Um, Earl Nightingale says the people that are extremely successful, successful, we make it our business to be successful. I made it my business. My daughters asked me, Dad, how the hell do you get up so early in the morning? It's my business to get up early in the morning. That's what we do. I walk out, we pick up trash, we make sure the neighborhood looks good. We call the city code compliance. This is what we do. This is what we do. And people will look at you like you're crazy. Like, why is this guy picking up trash? What's wrong with this dude? That's what we do. At the end of the day, we are bosses. You have to do shit that nobody wants to do. You don't want to do it. I walk around, I'm like, everywhere I go, I'm like, you're a boss. You can't just be here acting certain ways, saying certain things, treating people certain ways. Stress, all this stuff, it, it'll come. You know what's weird, I made a, yeah, anyway. I'm saying we're bosses, Being, yeah, carrying yourself as a boss, yo, big difference. Responsibility, it's all our fault. Everything falls on us, okay? Getting up early. Okay, second thing, I, second thing I need to do is put together my CRM. And I'm like an expert doing this, right? My CRM. My CRM, Customer Relationship Manager. Uh, hire and Acquisitions Manager. I do not want to call back motivated sellers anymore. I don't like talking to them. I don't like talking to them. I feel like I'm turning into Ronald and Grant. I don't want to talk to them. I'm like, they want to give us money. I need to clean my office and do my 2021 taxes. Anybody haven't done the taxes yet? One, two. You don't do yours. Do yours? No excuse. My dog. My dog. Wow. Mark Cola said, never do your taxes on time. Yeah. Why? I waited for the last day. Oh, wait, the last day? They give you, they give you a, they, uh, an extension for free, so. Okay, so that's, uh, that is what I need to do, what I need to do. My office is horrible. Okay, what is working for me? My SEO, I have a monster of a team that brings in motivated sellers for me every day, every other day. They come directly to my email. I don't have to go out, look for them. Boom, boom, boom. Now, it is extremely expensive. However, I don't do anything. I write a check. They give me leads. Over. We get deals from that. Uh, my social media marketing, obviously, you know, is a, a monster. And what else is working for me? Negotiating. One of my superpowers is being able to negotiate deals. So, And raising money. I enjoy raising money from people. People like to uh, put money into our deals so we never have to ever go find financing. Our financing is built in already. So that's what's working for me. Yeah, that was the good brother, Chris. Chris Haskins. And uh, I, I really love what Chris had to say. I tell you, one of the things that I really in particularly love is when he says, Everything that happens is your fault. You know, when things go well, it's your fault. When things go wrong, it's your fault. That level of responsibility can be really taxing, but it can also be empowering. And, you know, to be honest with you, seeking empowerment is taxing. It's easier just to let someone else do it. <laughs> but really seeking empowerment where you can make things happen. It's a bit taxing. It, can, it really can, you know, um, you know, going to the gym, it's taxing. Getting your taxes done, it's taxing. <laughs> you know, getting the papers ready to do your taxes, ooh, that's taxing. Um, but empowerment in itself can be taxing. So that's why it's really important that you learn strategies to relax and to uh, be your best self. But I really love that he place responsibility as one of the things that helped him become a boss you know that whole message was you know we want you to become a better boss and placing responsibility in that is one of the things that will help you get on code so you know we say get on code share the code teach the code our code is empowerment come to code our code is empowerment you know as you become in focused on empowerment 
you're gonna have some sleepless nights but the great thing is you'll have fewer and fewer over time and over time you're gonna have more and more restful nights because you're getting stuff done because you're getting stuff done so you might start off with a few restless nights because you're working on empowerment but once you reach levels of empowerment you're going to sleep better so get on code share the code teach the code become the code our code is empowerment knowledge knowledge we love you peace